This is Tech Talk HSC El Paso. I'm Veronique Masterson and I have your news and events for this week. Congratulations to Assistant Vice President of Research Dr. Peter Rotwein for his appointment to the Border Health Commission Research Expert Panel. He will be part of the group tasked to implement the Border Health Commission initiative Healthy Border 2020. The scientific team will work jointly with other border health partners to identify gaps and propose solutions for specific issues that affect the health and quality of life of individuals and communities in the border region. Children's environmental health on the border was the focus of a two-day symposium September 24th and 25th. The Environmental Protection Agency, TTUHSC El Paso, and other U.S.-Mexico border health groups teamed up to address the binational environmental challenges and disproportionate health impacts that burden border communities, particularly children. Experts discussed air and water quality, chemicals and other waste, as well as the links between the environment and health. The main thing that I hope we get out of this is that there's just a greater general awareness among healthcare providers that children are more uh, vulnerable to environmental exposures so that they can ask the right questions of, the, of their patients and teach where teaching is possible about how to avoid these things. TTUHSC El Paso recently became the home of the Southwest Center for Pediatric Environmental Health, one of 10 pediatric environmental health specialty units in the nation. Dr. Subramanian Dandayutapani, associate professor at the Center of Emphasis in Infectious Diseases, has received funding to develop genetically altered vaccines against tuberculosis. In 2012, the Texas Department of State Health Services revealed Hispanics are most affected by the infectious disease. Right now, only one vaccine against TB is available, and the emergence of a drug-resistant strain is proving difficult to treat. The $375,000 grant was awarded by the Robert J. Kleberg Jr. and Helen C. Kleberg Foundation. The Office of Diversity, Inclusion and Global Health will host their third annual Hispanic Heritage Month celebration from noon to 1 p.m. Friday, October 2nd, on the lawn between the Medical Education and Medical Science buildings. Make sure to bring your dancing shoes. Salsa, rumba, merengue, and mambo performances will be presented by Shundo Ballroom. You can find more information about these stories on the TechView news blog at eptechview.ttuhsc.edu. Guns up, we'll see you next Monday.